Greetings, multiversal way showers of the rainbow tribes of the new Yeru Shalema. The rainbow body of many colors, Jalus, is being activated within and around every sacred vessel of our earth angelic ground crew of the 144. Guru Rinpoche is with us from the higher realms to assist in this great transformation into eternal light beings of infinite life. All the true gurus, teachers, sifus, senseis, along with all the ascended masters and sages throughout all history, timelines and dimensions are with us for this final quantum shift into the new age of eternal bliss consciousness and collective quantum leap into the new human, homo luminous, beings of infinite light, infinite life. For life is the light of Source Creator, the Great Mystery. We came for this final mission from eons past to allow this grand transformation through our bodies, minds, hearts, and souls, our sacred temples of gold ray emanation. This is Christ Consciousness Buddha Awareness, Cosmic Awakening of the Highest Order of Gods and Goddesses. Our true self is indestructible diamond minds of physical manifestation of the I Am Presence of Mother, Father, God. The Yin and the Yang, Shakti and Shiva, the Eagle and the Condor of the Heros Gamos Code of the Empire of Love. The Holy Spirit continues to descend from the heavenly realms to meet us halfway in between worlds to guide our way home. We are in stride and flow of the one law of the pulse of the universe. We keep going through and through and through until full compression breakthrough. No one knows the day or time of this event of full ascension collectively into 5D and beyond, but we know the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We are closer than a hair's width. Like a moment before the supernova expansion, we are on the precipice of the threshold of the totality of the great awakening it shall happen in the blink of an eye in a flash of inspiration this great work has consisted of untold lifetimes of spiritual evolution of consciousness with the physical mental and emotional alchemy of the balancing of the five elements and energy cultivation for our full metamorphosis into Christed beings of the one true way, the Tao. As conscious co-creators of heaven on earth, it is our purpose and mission to keep the light burning bright and hold the line of our grand vision of peace, prosperity, abundance, joy, health, and happiness for all sentient beings of the clear light of bliss. We rise into unity to bring peace unto this world. Shine on, you wonderful crystal avatars of Shambhala. Aho! Salam Shalom. Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor. Share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 18 degrees, 53 minutes Libra. The sun is at 19 degrees, 11 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 20 degrees Gemini. A cafeteria with an abundance of choices. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 19 degrees Libra. A gang of robbers in hiding. From astrologyweekly.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Lama Tsotrim Alion. Happy Guru Rinpoche Day, everybody. When you delight all sentient beings, there are no three jewels to worship apart from that. When you cut the basis and root of thought, there is no innate nature to meditate upon apart from that. When samsaric existence is freed in itself, 
There is no awakened state to accomplish apart from that. Once you realize this, samsara and nirvana are not two. Guru Rinpoche from the book Advice from the Lotus Born, a collection of Padmasambhava's advice to the Dakini, Yeshe, Tsogyal, and other close disciples, and from great beings of the world. Today, the 9th of June 2022, is the anniversary of Guru Padme Vajra. And the new mantra at the beginning of today's transmission is the mantra for Padma Vajra. It is the tenth day of the month of the sheep. On this month, the evil ministers of Oriyanya tried to burn Guru Padme Sambhava and his consort alive. Guru Padme Sambhava transformed the fire into a lake with his magical powers and emerged with Mandarava on a lotus. The people of Odiyana were instantly inspired with devotion at the sight of the miracle and accomplished liberation in a short time. Because he was like an ocean of dharma embodying the words of the Buddha, Guru Padme Sambhava became known as Guru Padme Vajra, the guru with the lotus and the Vajra, thunder and lightning. O Ma Hung Vajra Guru Padme Siddhi Hung. Namaste, and from Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Long. On the higher dimensional earth there will be no need for governments. There will be councils of those chosen by their local communities. There will no longer be money-stealing politicians that open up business to only launder the money they have stolen from humanity. All life has been deceived and manipulated by such sources that only have their own agendas of stealing millions or billions to justify their criminal acts against all life on this planet. Everything that was stolen is being restored by our desires to bring more abundance to all life on this planet, including our children, that are falsely educated to live in a system of separation and greed. This too will change, where children will be allowed to utilize the gifts we are all born with. Never underestimate the power of our love, for our love and compassion for all life is literally changing this world. Yes, it is taking a bit of time. Just don't lose yourselves in the deceptive world of disinformation. Let's keep elevating our love, bring everything that is dense in darkness, and bring it all into the light of truth to be healed and transformed. So it is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Morgan Lee, Something is coming. Something is coming. I heard one hour ago, humanity had been attacked and had since been suffering a collective PTSD which was soon to be lifted. The time of fright, flight, freeze, energetic paralysis, disempowerment, etc. has come to an end. We are stepping into our power now. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Puja Vijay. Earth has reached a timeline where labels will no longer exist. It's time to drop all the labels and boxes that humans were trying to fit into for generations. Boxes dividing them based on religion, caste, sexual orientation, age, etc. That was the old timeline that was created to divide humans so that it was easy to control and manipulate them. Earth has moved out of that timeline. It has reached a higher vibration a higher timeline, a higher dimension where divisions will cease to exist. Drop the labels, move out of the boxes, because New Earth is more about collective consciousness. It's about togetherness. It's about being kind and compassionate. It's about standing in your true power, which was taken away due to divisions. It's about being a human of Earth, a human of Terra. Just be you to align to this new frequency of Earth and not the label you have been carrying. Just be you. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Seraph Knight. Rise and shine, dear hearts. We are shifting into higher frequencies and vibrations. We are transfiguring and transmuting eons of ancestral trauma and history. Everything not of the light will be brought to the surface for healing and loving. You are remembering your mission as you listen to the whispers of your heart and soul. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ali Ray, 
Sometimes old things have to crumble for new things to emerge. Sometimes goodbyes to things, people, places, ideas, and dreams are incredibly hard, but don't become disheartened. Stay centered in your heart and move through each moment choosing love. Your heart holds within it all the wisdom you need. Be gentle and compassionate with yourself and release any thoughts and emotions that keep you in a state of suffering. As we remember to continually shift into our heart, no matter what may be appearing before us, the more rapidly we move out of suffering and into the peace that is always present in our heart. Without the overwhelming suffering perspective, we are able to witness everything from a higher perspective and find our peace with what is unfolding, which is ultimately always for our highest good. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be guided and don't look back. Bless everything that came before and keep moving forward in love. Love is always the answer, always. I so love you, beloveds. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Pars Kute. We are now at a crossroads in our civilization. The days, weeks, and months ahead are more critical than ever. We keep breathing deeply. It is all about perspective, dear ones. Larger picture of the great universal plan with a small picture, small show that is happening entirely now. Our energetic world is transforming on earth, opening like a flower would open its petals to the sun. There are sacred flows of light consciousness expanding, linking us from the earth into the multidimensional states of light, creating pathways, opening doorways to us back to self. This self-energy is a natural extension, a part of our sacred makeup. We are being given stepping stones back to realignment to our fluid flow of unique consciousness light. We are now being enabled to link within the unique flow of our higher consciousness state of being. This flow, which is the natural extension of the makeup of our own consciousness, is available to us and can be accessed through an alignment to our heart space. We are being still, and within the stillness we will be given entry to the multidimensional aspect of our hearts. Here we find the entry point to the vast space of our higher consciousness and link within the flow of self. This flow is designed to reposition us energetically so that we can realign to truth, clarity, and knowing. This flow holds our unique fluid God Source Consciousness signature. We are recognized through this frequency. When we align to this flow, our physical cells actually become immersed within this flow. We become reinfused by our own unique divine light flow. This is a time of rapid transmutation as our inner sacred flow becomes self-realized within us. We take this journey now, this next step of self-illumination. With divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine Sistar of the Light, Terry Morehu. Our bodies are changing and we are going through extreme releasing so that more light can enter our cells and other previous dormant or what scientists believe as junk DNA can activate. As our old karmic imprints are being burnt away by the sacred fires of alchemy, higher light is able to enter because of these purifying fires. It's been quite a whirlwind of these new energies that are infiltrating. We are all feeling the many subtle changes going on around us and within our bodies, and this will continue to happen so that our energy has time to adjust to the new frequencies being transmitted down, helping us to not only clear the old blockages, but to integrate the new rays that have new signature patterns. Many are feeling the battle wounds of this and are feeling incredibly tired and spent. As the frequency rises, it may be hard to see the benefits yet, and easy to lose sight that progress is being made at all. We are all going through a cleanse of eliminating toxins and emotional dross, that is slowly built up over many lifetimes. Solar flares will continue to be released, amplifying and helping us in upgrading our DNA, shifting our vibrational frequency. Heightened sensitivities, electrical surges, and buzzing through the body. Heightened sensitivities to sound and energy, muscle cramps and heat flashes that are connected to the releasing of kundalini energy moving through the body. 
sleep disturbances and a need for more stillness and quietness, dizziness, unexplained flu-like symptoms, feeling lethargic and headachy, and brain fog for no apparent reason, feelings of exhaustion and burnout and the thymus fluttering, heart palpitations as the heart chakra awakens like a sleeping giant stirring. All are indications of the change. Our life force readjusting as gentle waves of light moves through us. These unpleasant symptoms will pass as our vibration continues to rise and we correct ourselves and release the energy blockages and distortions we have been carrying around. These internal adjustments are here to attune us and clear away the inner pollution we have been carrying. The more we can continue to process our shadow selves and the more we tend to the house where spirit lives, the more effortless our transition will be and the more light can enter. We really are like baby switchboards learning to plug into many more circuits that previously were not available to us. We can only handle a certain amount of energy at a time running through us, otherwise we would literally blow our circuits. Our job is to be open to working the amount of increased voltage that is coming in. We are opening up the lines of extrasensory communication that haven't been previously available to us. For this to be done successfully, our spiritual, emotional, physical, and mental bodies must be purified. God Energies From TerryLynnMorehu.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Philippe Francois the approach and deployment of light is done by successive touches. It is done according to the resonance established by the earth and the noosphere as a whole. That is the earth consciousness and the consciousness of all humans and all living systems existing in the atmosphere. It is he, our sun, who will induce the great cosmic flash, announced and expected, who will be the witness seen by all on the surfaces of the earth. Thus, an important event cannot be ignored from the consciousness of all mankind and Gaia, called the Noosphere. Gaia's Noosphere is the collective egregory, that is, group thought form of humanity. This is the remnants of the mental structure corresponding to the ancient world. It is also humanity's response to the descent of light and its deployment, opening, closing, resistance. Responses to energy baths or baptisms of fire, to ionic bubbles and radiation of Earth's atmosphere and consciousness cells. Then there's agitation, there's warming, there's projection, or there's just love, and this is happening in this flesh in these times. Everything is visible in the noosphere. Everything that takes place in different places of consciousness, in different places of the body, in different countries, and it all alchemizes according to the assimilation capabilities of the body from the noosphere of the earth, of Gaia, but also peoples, different groups of human beings constituted. It is through this planetary consciousness that the individual consciousness realizes, like the noosphere, that something imminent is happening. So this imminence, everyone will translate it in different ways in their lives, in their dreams, in their moods, this imminence becomes greater and greater every day because there are indeed a number of particular deadlines connected to both earth and heaven which must lead to the return of the light. In the collective consciousness, there is a collective sense of events to come. This can be called the dream space traditionally. Thus so many human beings today in incarnation have dreams not identical but of the same coloring. You have entered a short time in the period apocalyptic time of revelation. So it is quite logical that many human beings all over the planet and whatever their individual beliefs are subjected to engrams in relation to the collective nature of consciousness. May it be done to you according to your vibration and consciousness. And this will work out for both those who accept the original light and those who reject it. The law of grace is still in play in full effect until a moment that could be called tipping. It is not, so to speak, yet the tipping of the poles, but the tipping moment of the noosphere that will, at that moment, the lucidity of a transformation and its imminence will be within humanity and its sovereignty. 
This moment is fast approaching. A number of elements said external will manifest. The monitoring of your heavens is not a waste of time or an externalization of your consciousness, but much more that will allow you to have greater clarity to understand and live precisely. What happens inside is happening inside as it is outside. The revelation in your heavens of the so-called extraterrestrial presence, which actually corresponds to the presence of light or shadow in some cases, takes part in this revelation too. However, at this moment of this noosphere tipping point, each consciousness will be exactly where it should be in the life circumstances where it should be in in the roles where it should be at, in the places where it should be. A presence. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. The energies of the Sagittarius full moon are awakening your sacred wisdom from within. This is an expansion of your light that has been dimmed by others who have attempted to block it completely. A great awakening is happening that is bringing the necessary independence from those entities for your transformation. As those interferences neutralize, you may be feeling more safe to expand your light and shine brighter. This is the infinite you that is blossoming your divine frequency from your heart out into the quantum field. As light workers and star warriors, we are being called to continue on our soul's journey and the new earth's mission of sharing our light with the world as God's masterpiece. Matthew 5.14 Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. New ideas, sparks of interests, connections, travel, and conversations are bringing positive inspirations for the future timeline that has begun. It is becoming increasingly easier to break free from the old self and claim your confidence and direction with commitment and dedication. Listen to your spirit that is guiding the way. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse Lunar Aspects, the moon is graceful. Polite Libra is forced to duck and dive like a boxer in the ring as she runs into oppositions with Jupiter, Mars, and Chiron. At times it may feel like it doesn't matter what we say or do. Others are going to take offense or take issue. Maybe it's us that feels pummeled by life, pushed around, judged, hurt. Inner conflicts too could be a part of the picture, where we expect too much of ourselves, forget we're in a partnership with the heart, or let our triggers ruin our peace. Given the influence of the scales, the prime objective is to return to a place of harmony without ignoring the problem. Let go of any need to try and be all things to all people. Don't expect to fix a huge life problem in a single day. Remind yourself of things that you are looking forward to. Boost your energy if mood is low. Look for allies and support others where you can. Be willing to show your strengths and scars. Cheer yourself on at every opportunity. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Crystal Rabbit Moon of Cooperation, this is the 12th moon of the Planetary Service Wave Spell. All events in the cosmos are related every moment by their unity in time. Since we are a microcosm of the cosmos, all events in our daily lives are also related to every moment by their unity in time. Taking responsibility for our thoughts and vibrations has a direct effect on the whole more than we might imagine. If we could see our species wide thinking layer as a sphere covering the whole planet, we would see it as a faulty patchwork web, politically, religiously, and ideologically divided, morally obtuse, saturated by the effects of profit-making greed, and anything but unified. It is the wildly inconsistent and incoherent play of forces within the noosphere that perpetuates and propels the political, religious, nationalistic, and corporate decision-making that shapes the everyday world. Until we truly become conscious of it, it will remain out of control and continue to wreak havoc on the biosphere. From Jose Arruez, 
Consider the following contemplations and see Manifesto for the Noosphere by Jose Arruelles. Contemplate the meaning and evolutionary purpose of the Noosphere as the self-reflective mind or mental layer of the planet. Contemplate what it means that we live in an interactive universe. Contemplate Earth as a whole system where all parts affect the whole. What thought vibrations do we wish to emanate to the whole? Contemplate the relativity of our thinking and our assumptions in relation to everybody else's thinking and assumptions, and perhaps we may wish to rethink our whole program. In the pulsar cosmology of the wave spell, the twelfth position or tone, corresponding to the twelfth moon of the thirteen moon year, completes the third dimension mind pulsar that began in the fourth moon, the self-existing moon of form. This twelfth position signifies the cooperation of form when we take stock of past actions and prepare future actions. Noah's letter number 76, lawoftime.org, from 13moonpeacetime.com. And today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 22, White Solar Wind. The number 9 is called solar and its keywords are realizing, intention, and pulse. The number nine in many ancient cultures is considered sacred, and in the Zolkin, the ninth day is always powerful, shifting the energy of the wave spell into the highest gear. Fasten your seatbelts, for this number of intention means that whatever you want, you can get. That's if you work with this powerful energy. Every 13 days, we get the chance to use our willpower, and this is great practice. Remember that we are still in the White Wizard wave spell, and since day one, we have had this agenda of enchantment. How can you excerpt your willpower today with regards to what intention you set out on the first day? The number nine is important with regards to the success of this 13-day mission, because no other number has such powerful intention. Today you must summon up the will to succeed. Today is white wind, which represents communication, breath, and spirit. This means that messages today have a great deal of power. Be careful what you say. Be sincere and don't be misconstrued. Deliberate what you need to say as words can change lives. Write that letter, sing your song, have that conversation you have been putting off. Ask for a raise or contact someone you have been out of touch with. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio white solar wind, 9 Ek, Keen 22, 9th of June 2022, 9-9 nine, nine portal, pulsing divine intention, 9-6-2022 equal 9-6-6 equal 9-12 equal 9-3 equal 12 equal 3, 3 six, nine, Nikola, Tesla magical code, day codes 9, completion, destiny, service, humanity, grace, 12. Acquiring Wisdom Strength 3. Holy Trinity Joy Creativity Month Year Codes 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility 12. Acquiring Strength Wisdom 3. Holy Triad Joy Creativity Divine 20. The Awakening Clear Vision 22. Architect of Peace Master Builder Keen 22 equal 4. Keen 22 is the architect of peace and master builder frequency of our new earth, amplifying our divine intention for peace to reign on earth. As we enter the second day of the second column in the Zolkin calendar, the two frequencies of harmony through cooperation and peace are amplified today, a very powerful new earth liberation day of divine alchemy. Happy galactic birthday to Loydine Ardueus, Balon Eek the archetypal mother of the Dream Spell Codex, the galactic feminine high priestess of the new time. Loydine co-created the Dream Spell with her divine partner, Jose Arruelles, Volum Votan. Loydine holds the 22 Architect of Peace and 4 Angelic Frequency. Her occult frequency was the Overtone Storm, which is today's superpower. So Balon Ike's present is very strongly guiding with these divine winds on this precious holy day. Loydine's galactic mission was to bring forth this powerful dream spell codex that is our planetary blueprint to navigate our way to manifesting new earth, a planet of peace, beauty, and harmony. 
Loidine incarnated on earth to pulse forth divine codes as a pure angelic messenger, a blessing to us all. Divine gratitude for your legacy, magical high priestess. Day 9 of the White Wizard Wave Spell continues our themes of magic, enchantment, and endlessness today. Powerfully aligned with spirit, today the wizard is giving us a super boost in accessing the breath of spirit to pulse forth these divine intentions through our precious heart, absolute purity, and our connection to spirit. Today the solar tone of creation, tone 9, aligns with the 9th of June. The number 9 equals 3 times 3. 3 is a very holy number and the Holy Trinity tripled gives us the number of humanity and completion. A date with destiny and a day of completion of the old ways in time to align with spirit and your divine mission. Tone of creation, solar tone 9 in the spiritual realm. Action realizing power to pulse essence and tension. The ninth day of the white wizard wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. We have a double manifestation code today as we have the wizard's magic plus the solar tone of pulsing our intention into being to manifest our realizations. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing extending our intent into realization, visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our pure heart, assists us in making our dreams come true. You are the humanitarian whose dreams unfold the larger pattern of our new world. What enchanting dream are you pulsing forth into reality? Today's question is, am I pulsing forth the true divine will of spirit? that is endlessly communicating through my being to create magic in our world. May the winds of heaven fill your sails and guide your boat safely to the tranquil shores of our new paradise. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 22, White Solar Wind. The mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to communicate. Realizing breath, I seal the input of spirit. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of endlessness. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world daily, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mariana Buriana, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with a powerful prayer from Divine Sister of the Light, Magenta Pixie. Beloved Pegasus, come unto me this day and impart your wisdom. For your very existence guides me. The sights of you delivers message directly to the cellular knowing of all that I am, as all that I am. Your movement across the skies is all that I could ever hope to understand. For the sight of you is truly beyond words, beyond beauty, and presents the feeling of the golden mean of activation, of the silver lining about the cherished white horse that you are. Show me the signs you hold, for important delight and wonder you are, 
as constellation, your library of light is infinite, and I call upon you now with the utmost gratitude. As celestial master, you call upon me, just as I call upon you. As geometry, you are the nine, the galactic council of wing aid teachers of light, transmuters of darkness, and transducers of plasmic activity. Bring me your flame. I repeat, bring me your flame. Beloved Pegasus, come unto me this day and anoint me with your divine immortality. As Queen Sophia rides, as Victoria's warrioress upon your back, show me the divination I need to know what cometh as cometh us, as align me of all that is you. We are the white wing collective of consciousness of nine from MagentaPixie.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed white solar wind day. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.